The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Technology is changing rapidly, uh, new ideas are coming forward and the difficulty is being able to adapt to them in a consistent way. This will require research and, and more meaningful applications so that we can arrive at solutions that will benefit the community as a whole. It's not just about how we as road agencies are able to design roads and design transport networks, but also how we can respond to our customers' needs in doing so. And I think that's part of the excitement of technology. In this project, we've had the opportunity to work with a number of our partners to identify specific ways that these changes in technology will impact on the investment decisions of transport infrastructure. So the majority of the studies that have been done worldwide actually indicate that, especially in the interim period and in transition period, uh, driverless vehicles would make uh, congestion a lot worse in our streets. We've got electric vehicles. We don't have to worry about uh, fuel prices anymore. Uh, people who have more access to uh, driverless vehicles uh, um, don't have to worry about parking anymore. So essentially the demand goes up. So we think that connected and autonomous vehicles uh, will actually have some benefits around being more consistent in their behaviour. Um, so things like reaction time, so cars may be able to follow a little bit more closely because the reaction time of a technology may be more consistent and maybe slightly better than uh, human beings. Uh, the fact that the vehicles can essentially talk to each other also enables them potentially to travel a little bit more closely together. Uh, there are a number of things that, that may provide small benefits individually but uh, add up to be um, reasonably significant benefits. So we're looking at those and, and what they mean for the road network. One thing that really concerns us is if people make the decision to have privately owned autonomous vehicles or automated vehicles, that will actually increase the amount of vehicle travel on, on the roads and there's the potential for a lot of dead running or sort of secondary um, impacts on congestion. So it's really important for us to try and understand and have the conversation with the public about the impacts that we will see once all of these technologies hit. One of the areas that the research has identified as a major area of risk is parking. A lot of investment, a lot of money goes into that. And they also have a very long lifespan. Those buildings can't be repurposed as well. And given the different scenarios of ownership in the case of technology being autonomous vehicles might have different implications for parking. It's really an unknown at the moment. Part of it is actually working out that um, we don't know what that future might be, carving out what we might like that future to be and what the technology actually enables. Changes in technology, autonomous vehicles and electric vehicles are going to be highly favourable for public transport. Certainly, we've got it already with high-speed rail and metro systems, but it's going to go into the roads with the equivalent of light rail and these kind of small buses. It is going to open up possibilities we hadn't dreamed of for making our cities far more attractive places to live in, but far less car dependent in a private sense. At first look, it appears like these areas could actually produce risks for our system. But when you take a deeper look, which we've been able to do on this project, they actually identify a number of opportunities to provide a greater level of service, a greater level of safety, and a greater level of leveraging investment into our transport infrastructure.